Hello, my name is Sidu Isarra, Technical Marketing Engineer at AppSpace, and today we're going to celebrate the launch of AppSpace 8 by focusing on a specific part of this major release. This is the third session of four, which are the AppSpace Content Portal and Enterprise Messaging Integration, the new Analytics Module, the new Maps Module and its integration with the Schedule Board card, and the new Content Library and General Platform Security and Performance Updates. This session is focused on the Maps module and how it integrates with the Schedule Board card. As our official entry into Wayfinding as a workplace service, we've added Maps functionality to AppSpace and have integrated it with our Schedule Board. From the AppSpace menu, you can navigate to Admin, then Maps. Once you're here, you will notice that you can begin to lay out your geographical company topography via geolocations, campuses, and buildings. The Maps module was built using the GeoJSON standard, which means that when we open up the APIs for integrations, you'll be able to link to other workplace management systems. As you can see here, I've mapped out our own global AppSpace office distribution, and let's look at our Dallas HQ. You're able to add floor plans to each building as needed, so let me load one. We recommend that you use vector-based images so they will be more flexible when zooming in and out, but you can use standard image formats as well. Once you have loaded the floor plan, you can proceed to create points of interest. There's already a list of preloaded types of points of interest which we hope will cover your needs. We highlight the most common ones. Let's say I'm going to choose a conference room. When we go to add a point of interest, I have three ways of representing them. I can let the system automatically determine the limits of the room for me. If that doesn't suit my needs, or if I'm dealing with a strange layout for a zone I want to create, I can choose the polygon option, which will let me diagram the area I want to declare a point of interest. And finally, I can also just set a marker as the point of interest, taking advantage of the icons we've included. Now that I have my three points of interest, you might be wondering how all of this ties into our schedule board. As you know, we have an integration out of the box with calendar providers O365 and Google Calendar. So in order to link the maps you've created to a schedule board, we need to add a calendar passport with the same access as the credentials you use to link your schedule board. Let's go create a passport for our maps module. I can have several passports which give me access to different resources if need be. I'm just going to create one for O365 and one for Google Calendar. Now when I go back to my Maps module and the floor plan I uploaded, when I go into each one of the points of interest I created, I can choose the passport and that will give me access to the resources that are available. So I may pair them with the resources I've added into the schedule board card. You'll notice that I'm also pulling in room information from the calendar provider, not just the name, but also meeting room capacity. I can add more details as well, such as any facilities or equipment features, such as a phone, video conferencing equipment, or whiteboards to each point of interest. When I've linked all three of my points of interest, I'm ready to head over to my schedule board and finish the configuration. Just to show you how it's done from scratch, I'll create a new schedule board card. Log into the same account I use for the Maps module passport, so I'll have access to the same resources, and then I'll pick from the available rooms the ones I added to my map, and I'm done. The next step is to enable the maps to show on the card. I can do that by enabling it on the configuration options, which makes this button appear, and now will let you flip between the default schedule and the maps view. Alternatively, you could also make the Maps view the default and have this be the experience that users see when looking at the kiosk, tablet, or interactive device you've chosen to display the scheduled board on. And so, to summarize, the new Maps module is built on an industry standard for workplace management systems, which will allow you to map out your corporate locations and tie calendar provider resources to it. Then you can display these via the AppSpace Scheduled Board card. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out the other videos around the new features included in the AppSpace 8 launch.